All right, Skeet. So this series is based in Kansas. Yeah. Midwest. <laughs> Midwest can be, right? Yes, right in the middle. And basically what has happened is a nuclear explosion has happened somewhere. You don't know where, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think at, at this part of the series we have an idea as to where several of them have been. Mm -hmm. uh, Atlanta we know about, Denver. Uh, and it's questionable as to which characters know about the rest. Certainly one of them knows that it's not just two cities, mm -hmm. it's many, many cities. I think we know, we know D.C.'s gone, uh, that New York was spared. Mm -hmm. um, and so you play the son of a mayor. Mm -hmm. A reluctant hero, would you say? Uh, certainly. I mean, I, I, think, uh, I think the point of the character initially is... Uh, is you know somebody uh, rising to the challenge of the circumstances, and uh, I think he's probably the least likely hero given his past, but um, but certainly uh, uh, takes to this challenge uh, in the in the pilot and in the second episode, and and uh, becomes yeah a momentary mm. hero certainly. So when you're reading the script for this series, mm. what was it that sold you? Uh, lots of things. I mean, I, I love the idea of this character having uh, been a wanderlust his whole life and sort of left with nowhere to wander. Um, it was intriguing to me to, to see this sort of caged mentality that he would have to take on. And uh, overall, I, you know, this idea of, of who are we when you take everything away, when you have no communications, when you, yeah. you know, you're struggling for food and, and heat now that the show's getting into winter. and. Mm -hmm. Um, and and you know who becomes uh, the darker side of themselves, and who finds hope and and light, and uh, and finds a way to bring that out. So and and the will to keep going as well, yeah. right? Because I understand in one of your last um, episodes, you guys were were planning a Halloween party. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it, it gets into uh, you know what what do people do to to sort of maintain some normalcy and to. Mm -hmm. And certainly, you know, the the kids in the town, uh, you have to, you, you want them to sort of uh, be as normal as possible and to try and, you know, uh, dissuade them from all the negative things going on. So I think that was one aspect they focused on in that episode was, you know, how do you how do you keep it as normal as you can for the for the young ones and. Um, uh, but yeah, a lot of it is, mm -hmm. is quite dark, so it's kind of good to get those touches. Well, I just think it's interesting, just given this day and age, given what's happening around the world right now, yeah. uh, the possibility, and God forbid, but just given the current events that are happening yeah. with North Korea and Iran, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very timely, certainly. And um, the show, I, I, it doesn't really make any political statements, but as soon as you see that explosion in the mm -hmm. first episode, I think that's a huge political statement and says a lot about the climate that the show is set in. But certainly in our, in our real world, mm -hmm. uh, it's something uh, that obviously all of us hope to never have to deal with. But there's a lot of potential for it. So it is a dark premise, but are you having fun working? <laughs> we're having a great time, yeah, ironically, yeah, we're yeah. having a great time. And um, and really just enjoying the cast. Our cast is unbelievable, just amazing actors through and through, and, and the crew, everybody's just uh, really looking forward mm -hmm. to going to work every day, which is a good sign. And, so a little bit about you now. Where does the name Skeet come from? You must get <laughs> that. You say it like that <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's very unusual, but <laughs> yeah. you know what? You know, I'm never going to forget it now. That's true. Uh, it so was a baseball coach gave it oh, to me. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, so, so it's a nickname. Yeah. And it yeah. just stuck with you. It did, yeah, yeah. Everybody kept calling me that and kept calling me that. So... Uh, my real name's Brian, and by the time uh, I like Skeet much better. By thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, if somebody could say Brian, I wouldn't even turn around. Yeah. It's been so long since I've been called that. And very quickly, I understand that you come from a family of NASCAR drivers. I do, yeah. So, what made you decide to take this route instead of driving? Uh, well, dri it wasn't really ever offered to me. I mean, oh. it's an expensive sport mm -hmm. to be involved in. Um, uh, when my dad. Uh, quit driving uh you know i mean he, when he was driving he would sell the sofa to buy parts so oh, wow. was, you know it took a there was no way i, I couldn't even get into go-karts didn't have the money for it so oh, wow uh yeah i chose other avenues he must be proud yeah i think so i think so yeah yeah my family's very supportive and very happy and yeah. and you know wishing me well all the time so. that's great well best of luck with Thank this you. series I understand that they've ordered it for the full season yeah, and hopefully we'll for around. many more seasons to come. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Well, thanks so much for coming to visit us. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Good luck with everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you.